What's up, Pack Fam? Welcome back. I know it's been a little while. Well, the reason it's been a little while is because I've had a bunch of footage that I have been saving as we moved Clover to the barn and changed his whole living area and we started to build. So when I went to go film like my final stuff of that video, Clover actually got loose, guys. He got loose and I was freaking out and me and Django looked for him uh, for, I would say probably like six hours on the first day. Um, and then a couple days went by. So we found him, yay, we actually found him. So he's safe. We figured out how he got out. We fixed it so it won't happen again. So we're going to take you to show you Clover and then we're gonna do some other fun stuff. So let's go see Clover. All right, Pack Fam. So we're here at the barn with Miss Grease. <laughs> and so here's what happened. So we brought Clover down here at the barn and he's been doing good. But about five days ago, he managed to slip through the stall door. Um, I didn't know until I got off of work and I got here and he was gone. I had Django with me that day. Me and Django walked the whole property. We couldn't find him. A couple days later, um, I was sitting here in the barn in this chair, just kind of hanging out, hoping I would see him. And sure enough, he was in my feed room and I saw his little head poke out like right over here. And so I was able to snatch him and put him back. So Clover's back and we fixed what was going wrong here. So he managed to slip through right here, which I don't know why it took him so long to do that, but he did. So I just tacked up this board here with a bracket and he's been in ever since. So let's check out, where is he? There he is. <laughs> so he has a little area right there where he can look out. So actually when I went to look for him, um, I had other things in here that I took out, uh, but I'm gonna put them back in. I kinda wanna make it better anyway. So um, I'm gonna be working on that. But for now, this is how he's living. He's got an extra bag of shavings, this little hay bag here, which we were just finishing off from the house. He'll pretty much get horse hay, which is really good hay from now on. And then he's got his grain and then we give him carrots and stuff in here and veggies and romaine and all kinds of stuff. Um, he pretty much, hi <laughs> Clover, blame me. <laughs> so he pretty much hangs out here now. Um, I know that he does sleep right in here, but he pretty much doesn't even go in there. Um, he likes to be out and I'm happy for him. <laughs> so that's how Clover's doing guys. Um, I'm going to do an update pretty soon once I put all the shelvings back in and make it nice and cool and pretty. And uh, we'll probably make a little how to do a bunny stall video. But that's not the point of this video. I just wanted you guys to know that he's safe. Mr. Clover Bunny. <laughs> so he is safe and he is doing very good, you guys. <laughs> so, yep, that's his area. And he can look out. That's the whole, um, right here is like the whole arena and the house and everything. So he can see out. So he's not just locked up in here in a box. I don't like that either. So he's doing good. <laughs> updated you guys either but I did bring my cats down here um, they are temporarily in this dog crate so they can get used to the barn they've been here for about a week and they're really coming along so I really don't think I'll have to keep them in here much longer Delta's doing great she's like ready to come out pilot was a little iffy but he's starting to come around today for the first time what are you eating and they also love the dogs so they always love to see the dogs so that could also be a reason he's out um, he's been hiding in his litter box here and that's okay like I said, they'll get used to it and eventually they're gonna have the free roam of the whole property, like barn kitties, shit. <laughs> so I'm actually here, I'm gonna clean this out today and I'm also going to do what this video is gonna be all about. Cleaning, wow, nice turn of you. You're so mean to Pokehondras. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. We're here to clean some saddles guys because I rode her about a week ago and my saddle is oh my gosh so this is gonna be a really satisfying video all right guys let's get straight into cleaning my dirty disgusting saddles because I don't really ride that much because I work too much and but I'm gonna stop all that and I'm gonna start riding and you guys are gonna see it so let's get to clean them saddles 
Okay, so I will be doing a tack room makeover video as well, but I'm gonna start with cleaning my saddles. My tack room is a mess. It's a giant mess, guys. So this is what it looks like. And here are my saddles. I have three. I don't think I'm going to clean this one. Maybe I will. I kind of want to. We'll see how long it takes. But these are the two I use. This one's Peanuts. That's Tufts. And then I'll tell you about them. This is my Circle Y barrel saddle. It's got a, uh, what do you call it? A square skirt. <laughs> so it's just a barrel saddle. Um, it did actually come with a gator seat. And because of my job, I was able to have it re, um, the seat redone to black suede um, because the, the gator actually, it was faux gator, it was rubbing off here. So I just had that done like a couple months back, I got it back. And then this saddle here is Tufts, which I can't even believe how dirty it is, but this is a Martin all around. Um, it's a great saddle for Tuff. Tuff's not a barrel horse. And so I just use this all around on him and it's been great. So obviously you can see my saddles need some love. My pads need more love, but another day. Look at this, this is horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna get these saddles on a stand and I'm gonna bring them out into the barn area and we're gonna clean them up. Right, Pokey Hunters? Okay, let's do it. So I got my stand right here. Let's put a saddle on it. All right, so we're gonna start off with tough saddle. Yours is the dirtiest, buddy. <laughs> okay, so here it is. I got, got it on the stand. Um, I'm gonna take everything off. I have a Fallon Taylor saddle sack in Louis Vuitton because, you know, extra. So I'm gonna take this off. Right here I'm basically I'm gonna put all my saddle attachments on this chair um, except for the uh, leather parts that I'll need to oil like these parts and this thing is like it sucks okay so um, yeah I'm gonna oil that still this I'm not so let's undo this without breaking my hand okay so we're not gonna oil this this really needs to be like pressure wash like a ton of hair on it oh my gosh so I'm gonna lay that there and then pretty much everything else on here is leather. I try to not get in the shadows, but as you can see, it is, it's so bad, right, Pokey? It's so bad. Oh, whoa, 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 sir, sir, you're, get off the goods. Get off the goods. Ma'am, ma'am, did you not just hear what I just said? Get off the goods. Okay, so you guys aren't gonna listen. All right, go, 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 go. So yeah, we're gonna oil all this stuff. The fender's why I can't believe how bad this saddle got. Okay, so let's get everything we need to clean this monstrosity. Let's do it. So I have a little decrepit shelf right here that needs cleaning, but I do have some rags, some of these, which you need for your um, oil. Um, I do have some wash. Let's see. Like I said, decrepit shelf. Um, if it's not here, and it's somewhere else, and it's probably in my car. Okay, so yeah, the other stuff's in my car, so we'll go get that. just not that great I mean I have some it's just at my other house but I do have the wash I have like three kinds of wash it's crazy and I don't think I have oil anywhere else I thought this was an oil but it's a cleaner it stinks all right so I got the wash I got the oil I got done for the stinky still and then we got the sponges. So what I'm gonna do is I've actually never used this one before, but what we'll do is we'll just do a light spray. Just kind of get a little saturated here. That's why I kind of like, that's why I kind of chose this spray. It smells pretty good too. Okay, 
So as you can see, just by spraying it, it's doing us a great deal. So now I'll wipe it and let's just see. I might have to get some water. That's okay if I do. Wow. Wow. Wow, this stuff is like, it's like a miracle. Okay. That is a, uh, that is a huge difference. So I'll wash there. All right, so looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. This off. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more wash on. Kind of right in these hard areas here. And then we'll kind of just let that soak in. There. like this wash um, it's a big difference this isn't even the oil this is just the wash um, and just wiping it down it looks much better so if we turn it around we can see it's got the same kind of problem so again I'm just gonna go over it a little bit more here it's kind of like um like a degreaser looks pretty good all right so I did the fender that's drying over here and we're gonna do the back here okay so I went ahead and sprayed the whole back in between here and then I have really nice leathers on my stirrups so I sprayed those too and I'm kind of realizing that if you just let it sit for a little bit it really just like it really does a nice job of bringing the leather back I can't wait to use the oil so let, I'm gonna spray this one down, wipe it down real quick. That's no biggie. And then I do have an all leather breast collar that needs serious help. So we're gonna do that to spray it all down. just broke <laughs> while I was cleaning but I do have this solder rack that pops up from my wall here and I just collapse it down so I moved this out over here this whole side is clean actually clean and now we need to go to this side we didn't do this side yet let's do it all right we are all done with the wash so excuse me I got fans above me we're done with the wash um, everything looks very nice and looks very washed down so now let's I hate this lighting I hate it that's why I had the saddle rack over there anyway um let's get to oil on this beautiful Martin saddle okay so because this saddle hasn't been cleaned and oiled in a hot minute guys guys oh you found your tennis ball poke oh that was Django's tennis ball oh no oh no <laughs>
coat my saddle in every crevice with this sponge, with this oil. And I'm gonna really give it a nice liberal uh, oiling here. So, wow, look at that, still dirty. Okay, not the end of the world. So yeah, we're just gonna keep doing this, guys. Let's do the whole saddle. So we got it all washed down. My little sprayer kind of broke here towards the end, but I was able to finish. So let's go ahead and oil it. And I did spray the wash here, as you can see. This is cowhide on my brush collar, but it's such a nice light wash that I really wasn't worried. But when I do go to put the oil, I wanna make sure not to get the, the cowhide here. Right, Queen? <laughs> okay. Wow, wow, Pokehunters, look what you're doing here. Things all kind of crazy, huh? Some dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back. All right, guys, they are all clean and all oiled. We did it, so we did it. We finished the saddles, Miss Harlequin. Miss Harlequin, <laughs> all right. So, thank you for watching this video. If you loved it, give it a big thumbs up, and if you really love it <laughs> and you want to see more of what we're doing with the pack and getting ready to move, then hit that subscribe button and maybe he'll leave me alone. Ow, his too far. Ow, Joker, ow. Okay, listen, he won't stop. He's not gonna stop. Okay, so again, if you like this, stick around for more. Thanks guys, bye. See, bye, Lordy Queen. <laughs> Mama Queen.